Today I'm gonna make an apple tree. I'm gonna have crayons, scissors, glue, and some paper. This is gonna be my background, like the blue sky. You could use blue sky, you could use a gray sky, or you could just use white regular paper if you want. First thing I'm gonna do is use brown to make the tree branches. Now, in real life when I see tree branches, you could always also use black or gray. Um, in real life when I see tree branches, a lot of times they're not smooth, especially apple tree branches, they're really bumpy. So instead of cutting in straight lines, I'm gonna move alongside the, my paper and I'm gonna tear it into lines so that I have bumpy torn edges. And I'm gonna use these, I'm gonna use these torn edges to make the branches of my tree. Maybe I'm gonna make five. I have one, two, three, four, and five. I'm gonna take my torn pieces and I'm gonna use them to make the apple tree. Whenever I want them to be a different size, I can just tear them in the middle. Put the glue on the piece and then choose where I want it. I'm gonna start with a trunk. That's a little wide. Boop, boop. And then start adding branches that go out from my tree. I think I want some skinny pieces too. Doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo. Oh no, where's my green paper? Now, to make the leaves, it would take a long time to cut out all the leaves one by one. So instead, I'm just gonna cut out I like to start with making my paper smaller because then it makes it easier to get the shapes I like. So my paper is a little bit smaller and then I'm gonna make big blobby shapes. Big shapes that are kind of like leaves, but big. Maybe I'll make three blobby shapes. One, two, three blobby shapes. And I'm gonna put my blobby shapes on. Doo -doo -doo -doo. To be the leaves. Boop. 
Now, of course, I need apples. I chose yellow because that's the kind of apples I like to eat. So I'm gonna cut out a little bit of yellow paper. And I really like yellow apples that have a little tiny bit of like orangey red. So I'm gonna put like in some different places just some tiny bits of orangey red. Yeah, those are my favorite kind of apples. You can choose whatever color matches your favorite kind of apples. And if you don't have construction paper, you can always color paper and then cut it out. Just like this. Now, you can make apples in two ways. You could go slow and careful and cut out round apple shapes and stick those apples on. Or you could cut out squares and then ball your squares up to turn them into round apples. That way they kind of stick up and round like real apples. You can put as many apples on your tree as you want. You could have some apples falling down on the ground. You could make a basket next to the tree and put some apples in the basket. You could draw a ladder on the tree that would make the apples easier to get. You could draw people getting the apples or animals getting the apples. It's your apple tree. Finish up by adding the apples and drawing one thing that you want to include in your apple tree. Maybe it's a basket, maybe it's a ladder, maybe it's people, maybe it's a bird, maybe it's a squirrel. I think that I want to do a ladder. So I'm going to add a ladder to mine. I can't wait to, wait to see what you put with your apple tree.